Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my first review video. So I'll be reviewing the first two episodes of the show Colony, which comes on USA on Thursdays at 10 o'clock. So Josh Holloway is in it, and that is probably the only reason why I should watch it, because Josh Holloway is in it, and he's pretty amazing. If you've seen Lost, he plays Sawyer. So really the first thing I thought was like, is he going to be, like, a kind kind of guy, like, in this show? Or is he going to be, like, all that Sawyer with all the nicknames? And he, like, is more, like, near the nicer side. But then there are some points when he, like, gets angry and stuff. And I'm like, that's the Sawyer, I know. So, also Sarah, I believe her name is, she played Lori in The Walking Dead. And she's also in that. She plays Katie. And the first thing I thought with that was, um, is she going to be a better mother than she was in The Walking Dead? Because in my personal opinion, she wasn't the greatest mother to Carl but whatever. So, if you really love sci-fi, then this is definitely a show for you. So, it's kind of like an alien type thing. So, it takes place in LA, and aliens, like, came down and are occupying LA. So, they built this really, really awesome wall, like, all the way around LA, and they're, it took about four months to build, I believe, and so, like, they're occupying this area. And so you can either collaborate, work with them, or resist. And, you know, there's, like, secretly people that, like, are, like, trying to destroy them and everything. Um, so it starts off with Will in his kitchen, and he's, like, cooking breakfast. And he drops an egg. And then that's when I was like, there's the Sawyer moment. He dropped an egg, and he got really, really annoyed with that. And that's because they ration food. So it really just shows, like, how much food is, like, scarce. So then there was a scene, um... They were, like, eating breakfast and stuff, and they panned off to, like, a picture on the wall, and it was of a little boy, which we will soon later find out that his name is Charlie. And so, when they started building the wall, like, he was separated from their family. So, Will and Katie live with their, um, son, their oldest son and their younger daughter, and then Katie's sister lives with them as well. And so, their son has been living on his own or something, like, on the other side, because you can't leave the wall. So Will works at like some, I think mobile, like like automobile place or something, and like they made a bomb or something, like the resistance made a bomb and they like put it in a truck, but Will was going secretly in this like um, containment thing in the truck that travels like across the wall to the other part of California um, to find his son, and while they were in there, he's like, he turned 12 today, so I'm assuming that probably means that like... It's been a couple of years or something since they've built the wall or they've been occupied because maybe they're keeping track of how old he's turning. I'm not 100% sure on that one yet. But I do think they will go back and explain, like, how the wall was built and everything. So, he goes in there and it's like, like, they can't find them in there, like, when they go through the scanning things. Because the drivers in the truck that bring, like, supplies and stuff, I believe, to, like, other places, um, outside the wall... Um, those drivers have to get out, and the ones on the other side of the wall have to go back in and drive. So, like, literally there's no, like, crossing the wall, which is crazy. Um, so, like, there was a big bomb that happened, and I don't, Will didn't know about it. So, there was a big bomb, and so Will, like, survived because he was in this, like, containment thing, and he got out, and, like, all these, like, people that, like, look like the Nazi soldiers or something, I feel like that's kind of something that they're kind of, like, using in it or something. Um, but they call them the Red Hats because they have Red Hats. And they, they were like, put your hands up and everything. So he's like, oh my goodness. And so they take him, um, and they put him in this truck or something. And then they're like, um, he's like, where are we going? And they're like, the green zone. So the green zone is basically where all the rich people live and all the collaborators, those that want to like work for the aliens and everything. That's pretty much where they are. So they call that the green zone. So they go to the green zone. Meanwhile, um, Katie, she... I, th I believe it's her sister or something, um, somewhere around there in the family, they need insulin, and it, obviously it's really hard to get insulin, so she goes to this, like, lady and stuff, and she's like, I need insulin, so she, like, gives her insulin, and then she, like, gives her wine, like, in exchange, um, and she, like, feels it, and she's like, this is, like, this is warm, like, you can't, you have to have this, like, refrigerated, and so she tries to, like, take her wine back and stuff, and she's like, a deal's a deal or something, and then she, like, pulls out a gun, and, like, you think, like, you can't have a gun, like, when you're being occupied by, like, red hats and everything, but she pulls out a gun, and, like, the girl's like, okay, okay, and everything, and so, like, she's basically, like, holds it out so she can get out so nobody, like, attacks her and everything, and then she gets on her bike, and she drives, and she, like, rides home. So, the bike, there are very small cars, and the people that have cars are the red hats, or, like, people, like, 
part of the government um, and the collaborators. So basically everybody rides bike, which kind of is really, really cool because it's like a different kind of like a like a futuristic kind of sci-fi type thing. Like you always see like other, like just different means of showing like that it's like a futuristic thing. So like everything is pretty calm. Like you see people eating dinner like out on a little cafe place. And then all of a sudden, like, a big, like, tank comes over and another red hat's come out and, like, capture this guy and put them in the car. And then everything, like, goes back to normal. Like, everything's fine. Like, everything, like, it's just, it's so interesting because it's, like, they're being occupied, but, like, you're living life, like, normal. There's no Wi-Fi, obviously. But, like, you just kind of just it go, go with the flow, kind of. And that's your resistance. So, anyway, so back to the green zone um, where Will is... They go into, like, this big, big mansion and stuff, and so, like, this governor guy, I don't really know his name, but he's like, we're tired of the insurgency, and, like, he wants, he goes, like, what do you, you think I'm a resistance, and that's what Will says, and they're like, well, if you, if we knew you were, you would, you wouldn't be here right now, meaning something later, so they want him to work for them, basically, they want him to be a collaborator, because he, like, used to be in the military, and he's, like, really good at it, and so they want him to work for him. And if he doesn't, he was trying to escape to the other side. So he's basically committed a crime. And they would be brought to the factory. Now, the factory, which we learned a little bit more in the second episode, the factory is where people go and their families when they commit a crime, mostly resistance, and they never come back, basically. So basically it's like work camps, because the Katie said it was like they don't want to like go to labor camps or something. And to keep his family out of that, which, because he doesn't want, he doesn't want his family to go, he doesn't want to go either, obviously, um, so he goes, like, okay, I'll work for you, so then they take him out to, like, this, like, deck thing, they're, like, it's about to start, and apparently, like, because you're, like, the collaborators and you're the rich people, you get, like, some cool surprise from the aliens, and, like, they did this, like, really cool, like, poof, like, green thing in the sky, which was super awesome, and they did that, and he's, like, I, I could see that from my house, and then, like, the governor guy, he was like, yeah, but not like this and stuff, so, like, the really rich people and the people that work with the aliens to keep the peace, they give them that, like, surprise once in a while or something, and, yeah, so then, so he's working for him, and I, I don't know if I'm gonna, met, like, miss anything part of the episode, I might be, but I don't know, oh, wait, so they go to sleep or something, and, like, they wake up, and, like, they're like, is that bacon? And apparently you don't have bacon, like, in this, like, occupation, so they wake up, and the governor guy, he's like, He's like cooking bacon and everything, and they're just like, "What's going on?" And so then they like sit down and they're like eating breakfast, and like so basically they're, they're collaborating, like they're like, "What are we gonna do?" Like you're gonna work for us and stuff, and they're like, "Well, you're gonna have to open the yonk." So apparently the yonk is like this bar that Katie worked at and it was closed down, so she gets to open that up again, and then they they said, you know, the family like like has to be safe, and then they they'll get their son back. That's one of like their um negotiation things so they will eventually get their son back but like the guy goes like once they fulfill their needs or something it's like what are their needs like my dad thought it was like they're like harvesting organs or something like I don't know like what are their needs these aliens came down and they're like built a huge wall what do they want so hopefully we'll figure that out soon so anyway I forgot where I was now oh yeah so that's going on and everything, so now they're going to work with them, and then they're going to get a tutor for the students, like, for their, their kids, so they're not going to be students at the school anymore, so, I mean, I guess they're just trying to keep their family under wraps or something, so yeah, so Will is now going to be a collaborator, so he's working for the government to basically go hunt down resistance and bring them to, like, their prison place that then eventually go to the factory, but there's an awesome twist involved, and I love this, is... Katie, like, rides her bike, blah, 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 all the way to this house, and she walks up, and there's, like, this old lady, like, rocking on this chair, and she's, like, I came for breakfast, code, so then they, like, walk in, and then, like, they go through, and then, like, they knock on this, like, wall thing, and then they go in, and then, like, there are all these people, like, in this dark room, which are the resistors, so then she goes, like, my husband, I don't know the exact words, but she, like, my husband is working with the collaborators and stuff, or she's, like, working down to hunt down us. So now we know that Will is a collaborator, not because he, like, wants to be, but because he has to protect his family, but he's a collaborator and she's a resistance, and, like, what? That's crazy! So that's how the episode ended, and it was pretty, pretty crazy. So now we're going to talk about episode two.